Hello everyone, it's Ivoma, your guide to Africa, and today this video is breaking down the 16 questions you need to ask any landlord before you rent an apartment or a house in Nigeria. All of this is coming up. You are ready to relocate to Nigeria. You, these questions apply in Lagos, but throughout the entire country of Nigeria. Um, I've done research, I've asked my cousins, I've asked around. These are the questions that you need to be asking before you rent any property anywhere in the country of Nigeria. So let's jump right in. First question, how soon are you trying to rent out this apartment or house? So let's say you are in a tight time frame. You wanna move next month, right? The landlord wants to rent out the property in six months. That's not gonna work for you, right? How much is the total price to rent this house or apartment? Because typically when you ask for the rental price, they're gonna tell you the rent. But the thing is, you want the total price. In that total price is the price to clean the estate you're staying in, right? The security fee, the legal fee, the agent fee. Does this place have a private police? Does it have private security? And if it does have those things, is it 24 seven? Is it only within a certain time frame? There are places that they don't have security 24 seven. They only have security at night. Ask about the crimes in the area, burglary, car thefts, robberies. I'm gonna encourage you when you do property shopping, you need to go there or somebody that you trust needs to go to that property. You need to ask the neighbors. I can do another video on the questions to ask the neighbors before you move in, but it is so important that you ask the security question. Yeah, ask the landlord, but also keep in mind the landlord's trying to rent that property, right? A lot of them are gonna tell you the truth, but just keep that in mind. The neighbors, they're gonna tell you the truth. I live in the city of Lagos and in, and in Lagos, I live on the lakey side called the island. It's surrounded by water and it really floods during rainy season. So does it does the area flood? I'm gonna be honest, I actually think my area does flood, so y'all about to see some vlogs. Cause the way that this water was looking, it's not even rainy season, y'all. And I'm looking at the water like, why is it so high? Just because it rained for an hour, now well, what's going on? What you need to do to make sure that you are not in the predicament that I am in. Does this area flood? Does the water enter the apartment? Does the water enter the house? And if so, also ask the landlord, can you show me how high the water gets? How many hours of electricity does this apartment or house get? And I know for many of us, it's a strange question. They will tell you eight hours, 10 hours, 16 hours, 24 seven light. Let me tell you this, whatever they say, it's always gonna be less. I say in a place that 24 seven light, I thought 24 seven light meant that your light is on 24 seven, but in actuality, in practice, it just means that if your light is taken, it comes back quickly. You decided to rent an apartment that tells you upfront like 10 hours. That is what, it's a rookie move. Y'all know that you may have two, three hours of light every other day, maybe every day, that may be it. And I really suggest all of us who are relocating from outside of Africa to Nigeria, I really think you should stay in a place that's 24 seven light. At least you won't be miserable. <laughs> Right? Also ask, is the rental fully serviced, partially serviced, or not serviced at all? My apartment is not serviced. Let me explain what serviced is. Service means that it comes with staff that are meant to take care of you. So there are places that you can rent here. Your place will come with a gate man, a housekeeper, a cook, somebody who mans your electricity. My place, for example, is not serviced at all. So if anything breaks down or if I need any help, I actually have to go out and hire people, which honestly, I don't really think is a big deal but it just depends on what you are wanting and what you are desiring. For people who are not familiar with Africa, a gate man is someone who literally mans your gate. Also ask about the parking situation. Where can you park your car? Do I need a co-signer? May you get some pushback in the comments for this. Ladies, you are more likely than a man to be asked to get a co-signer. Like Lagos, I don't think it's as hard as a smaller city in Nigeria, but there are definitely places where it is more difficult to rent property as a woman. Ask, um, can you decorate? And what exactly can you do to change the property? The structure of the house really needs to remain the same, but you can add curtain rods, you can add an AC system to the wall. Um, I also added a burglary. So the burglary is the only thing that I felt that I needed to tell the landlord I was going to do, you know, and give the landlord a chance to do it himself because really it's affecting the structure of the When he told me he wasn't gonna do it, I said, okay, well, I'm gonna do it. And then when I leave, I'm gonna rip it out from your house. Is that okay? And he said, okay. So, and I literally said it like that. I'm like, I'm gonna rip it. 
out of your house. Like that should tell you like, but whatever. How often does rent go up? There's no rent control here. Laura can wake up and be like, do you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling the rent will go up 500,000 Naira. Like you need to also ask, will I be able to renew the lease or go month to month after my lease ends? So the reason I tell you to ask this question is that maybe the landlord is only pr um, planning to rent that property or house out for just one year. So you ask, do you allow early lease termination? And if so, what are the steps to doing that? So in Nigeria, you pay upfront for a year and in some places around Nigeria, even upfront for two years. Um, my, my neighbors actually paid upfront for three years. They paid their rent three years in advance. Let's say they want to move out of here, then this is a very important question for them to ask. Wow, I pay my, my rent three years in advance, but I'm moving to another city after a year and a half. Can I get that other year and a half money back? Does the bathroom come with a water heater? So I'm used to when you turn on the faucet, you turn on hot or cold, right? That's not the case here anywhere in Nigeria. You have to have a heater above the shower and then you turn on that heater and then the shower like heats up and then you can run hot water like do all the lights and sockets work I'm going to assume that you're you're in person when you are looking at your apartment or somebody has gone on your behalf to look at this apartment and you ha they have these questions I should have done this um, you need to bring this socket you need to bring a cell phone charger and plug it into every wall every plug that you see you need to make sure that every socket works. Because let me tell you, when I moved in, my sockets didn't work, which meant they never, they didn't work before I moved in. The landlord made me go get an electrician and pay for it myself. But had I just went around and checked to make sure all the sockets work, like I suggest you do, learn from my mistakes, the next place I'm renting, I'm doing this. Had I had gone out and just checked and told the landlord before I moved in, hey, the sockets don't work, then he would have had to pay for an electrician. I wouldn't have had to pay for an electrician. And that is like why I'm coming up with these questions to tell you because a lot of this stuff, like the water heater, had I had brought that up before I moved in, then I would have gotten a water heater. The last question is a very, very important question. Do I have my own water pump, water meter, and water tank? And do I have to share a water tank or water meter? The last question is, can you show me this setup? Show me my own water tank. Show me my own water meter. Uh, a water meter, you put money on it and it pumps the water from the ground. The water out goes to the filtration system and then it goes into your house. So that's what the water meter controls. The water meter runs on electricity. Um, you can make it run on gen, but I suggest it's not really that efficient. You should really just let it run on electricity. It's a lot better for you. It's a lot cheaper. This question was not asked before I moved in, and but the water meter and water tank is so important because had I had, had my own water meter and my own water tank that I pumped at will, um, since I live by myself, I would pump once a week. So let me explain to you the situation here. I share a water pump a water meter and a water tank with my neighbors so again you guys know it's just me staying here guess how many neighbors and i'm sharing with just guess six people there's six of them one of me six of them one of me and we pump water every single day so if it was by myself i would pump water once a week if i had my own water tank my own water meter I wouldn't care. This, this place would actually be wonderful. My landlord wanted me to pump every other month. So I pay for one month, they pay for one month. How can I, as one person, pump for six people? Is that, is that, does that make sense? I went to another apartment and they do do this. They pump every other month. So one person pumps one month, the other person pumps the other month. But they don't care because one family is five, the other family is six, and they lived there for years. So they don't care about that arrangement because it makes perfect sense, who cares? Like one family pump pays for the entire month of pumping, the other family pays for the entire month of pumping, and it makes perfect sense. But for me, as one person, to pay for somebody else, who's six of them, and they pay for me, it's, it's madness. It is, it is sheer madness. It was, I cut the landlord out of the agreement completely, went directly to my neighbors and said, hey, I stay downstairs, I stay by myself. There's six of you, uh-uh, let's, let's negotiate. Let's negotiate directly. That's what I had to do. I had to 
Jump down to my description box, get that free download. I break down all 16 questions. Comment below if I missed anything. Do you think I should add more questions? What is a question that you wish you asked your landlord or that you ask your landlord every time you rent property in Nigeria? Thank you.